In this lesson, we'll learn how to use the Euler filter to help solve gimbal flipping issues in objects with animated rotations. Before we understand what the Euler filter will do to our animations, we first need to understand what gimbal lock is. So let's make sure that we're under the gimbal coordinate system for our rotate tool. Now gimbal lock is simply when two of our axes align one against the other, thus making it impossible for, to rotate very comfortably in one direction. So for example, if we were to rotate in the y-axis, you'll see that the x is eventually going to line against the z-axis. This can be very problematic in animation because we'll notice some undesirable flipping. Now there are some ways we can avoid this by changing our axis order, but let's go ahead and see what the Euler filter will do to problems like this. I'll go ahead and play the animation to show you what we're currently working with. Our ship just flying and flipping all over the place. So that's how it looks before. Now, if we were to go to our curve editor and under utilities, go to track view utilities and choose the Euler filter, we have a dialog that allows us to tell Max what range we'd like to filter and clean up. And then if it needs to, it will add keys to correct our motion. I'm going to go ahead and use the default settings, choose OK. We'll see that our rotations have been adjusted to resolve those flipping issues. So as we hit play, you'll see that we get a much better result. So again, that's using the Euler filter to help us correct those flipping issues we get from gimbal lock. I would highly recommend to use it if you were working with Euler rotations animating things like hands or feet.